bringing Pacific people together. 5.31 PI. 12 minutes past 10. Uh, Tito Kota Langa Langa featuring JY and Young G. Uh, good morning, Brian, on Pacific uh, Breakfast. And now uh, for our wonderful team from Pacific, uh, well, the Pacific, or well, the Heartbeat team from uh, the Heart Foundation, Sue Pirrit and Muffy Funaki uh, Tahi Fote. Uh, ladies, uh, great to have you uh, joining us on the Pacific Breakfast this morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Well, good yeah. morning, uh, Brian. Yes, this is Palangi Sue here, and it, it's a first. I'm sitting in my kitchen and on my high stool talking to all the listeners this morning with my laptop open. So, uh, warm Pacific greetings to everybody from Palangi Sue. Yes, Malala Mali, Ahoeki, Pia Malo Lele, Tonga Kotoa, Pia Mui Kotoa, Kakai Pasriki, Nuzlani. Yeah, greetings um, from myself here at Smuffy. Um, yeah, different um, scene here. I am at home <laughs> in one of the rooms um, with the kids sleeping in at this time. Um, some are up, but it's great to be joining um, everybody on air during um, this lockdown time in Aotearoa. Thank you for having us, Brian. Very good. Yeah. And before we get underway with this morning's uh, Talanoa, so in handing it over to you, of course, inviting all our listeners uh, joining us online, if you have any questions, uh, to put it to the team, and they'll be more than happy to uh, to answer them. Uh, but with that, I'll so hand it over to you, Paalangi Su. <laughs> well, well, yes, welcome to anybody to um, phone us. Um, and I think the number is 0800... Three zero five thirty one, isn't it, uh, Brian? Is very, that yes, very good memory. Oh eight hundred triple zero five three one. Yes, and um, just just a big shout out to everybody that um, we know. You, every, we're all stuck at home in lockdown, and um, we Matthew and I just thought it might be terrific if we um, shared a few of the things we've learned about how we could um, keep our foods for longer um, at home in the freezer and the cupboard. And um, just so we can also keep our um, bodies in top shape and keep us healthy over this time in lockdown. Um, that's right, eh, Muffy? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, and as um, we locked down for COVID-19, uh, the best that we could do at this time um, is, of course, stay home, save lives. Um, but we can only fight off any bugs um, if we do get in contact with um uh, COVID-19, hopefully not, but um, there are also other bugs um, going around, so just making sure that our body is as healthy as it can be. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, um, feeding ourselves um, well with the right choices of food is one of the things that we can um, actually keep our family really strong and healthy um, during this time. And... Um I was thinking there's a, there's a big word, Muffy, called immunity, you know, and that's the body's ability to fight the bad bugs, isn't it? And um, we hear it around a lot at the moment. And um, But there are certain things in, our, in some of our foods that can actually keep our bodies healthier at this time, aren't there? There's certain vitamins and things, little things called vitamins and minerals inside our foods certain of our food that can keep us really well at this time. Yeah, um, and when we talk about foods, um, there are different variety of foods. The, the more variety that we have, the best chances we have of getting the best combinations and different types of um, goodness that we get from food. But in terms of fighting off those bugs, then we have that big word, Im Immunity. immunity. <laughs> um, and I know growing up in Tonga, um, Sue, that we talked about the soldier or the soldiers, um, make sure that they are fit the and healthy. Soldiers. Because it's like an army. It's army like an army. You can yeah. fight off the bugs. So, um, yeah, we'll be, um, of course, we um, remember that we've got these goodness and foods, but um, one of the advice is that we always hear is having lots of fluids or yes. that fancy word fluid but really means to drink liquids or water uh, is, is of course the best um, uh, that you can have but yeah those vitamini or vitamins um, 
especially vitamin C, like I see, I see you, you see me. Well, we can't see each other. <laughs> I can't see video. you, Muffy. I can't see you guys either, but yes, I can hear you. <laughs> so, so it's vitamin C. Um, they're great at um, yeah, at fighting off those bugs. Um, and yeah, Balangisu, where can we find those in our, um, <laughs> at home now? Well, those um, little bitty vitamin Cs, um, they, we, we find a lot of them in our green vegetables in particular. And um, I was just thinking of, of, you know, some examples of those. Things like um, silver beet, which is normally pretty reasonably priced. Taro leaves have it in there. Um, capsicums, you know, our peppers. Um, our zucchinis, um, our, um, um, let's see, oh, and also tomatoes have vitamin C. And, of course, I mean, those ones, the, the actual, the green veggies, they don't have, have sugar in them. So um, if people are worried about putting on a few kilos because they're at home and the, and the big white fridge is there to go into, you know, those, those vegetables are, are ones that... Um, won't put on the muffin top during this time. But also, um, fruits um, have a lot of vitamin C in them, you know, especially those um, citrus fruits, you know, like the oranges. And I know the lemons are, are coming out at this time. Um, and little kiwi fruits, you know, I try and have one a day. Um, it is packed full with vitamin C. But, of course, eh, Muffy, the, uh, the fruits, they've got something in them that... Um, we, we kind of can't overdo them, hey? <laughs> yes, <laughs> and it's those um, sugar or sugar. Um, and if you've got diabetes, um, that will push um, sugar up if, uh, if you have a lot more than, like, for example, if you're having mandarin and you end up having five or six in one go, um, that pushes up your blood sugars um, uh, that come um, with sweet tasting fruits, and I think um, uh, Sue, in terms of um, looking at Pacific people in New Zealand and um, how much uh, fruit and veggies that we are having, yes. we tend to do well uh, or better with having um, what we are recommended or advised to have every day in terms of fruit, um, which is two a day. Um, but not so good when it comes to vegetables. So yes. um, if we are choosing to get our vitamin C up, to get our immunity up at this time, choose those um, green-coloured co um, vegetables, um, even those that are um, coloured yellow, red, you know, the variety, the colour of the rainbow yes. um, will give us extra benefit um, as opposed and to having uh, pushing up with with a lot of fruit, so of a lot of it's fruit, a bit of balancing sensible eating. And um, Muffy, I had a heard a really good tip on the tally news last night, um, and um, it was that with our vegetables, you know how they tend to go. Even if you put them in the crisper in the in the free the bottom section there of the fridge. Um, they do tend to go limp, uh, you know, quite quickly. But if we put our vegetables in a click-clack container or an airtight container um, with, a, with a paper towel at the bottom to mop up, you know, any moisture, um, they will last a lot longer, those veggies, those dark green veggies in, in our fridge and the carrots, you know, and the tomatoes and things. So um, Palangi Sue just started, went, I just got into my fridge and did that last night. Um, so I'm going to have, you know, my veggies there, you know, for when I need them. And also the other tip was that um, if we can't get out to the shops, that um, fruit and veggies in cans is also good, um, like canned tomatoes um, and canned fruit. But um, there's something probably we should do with the canned <laughs> fruit, Nuffy, that you were mentioning, um, that yes. maybe we, we should drain the... the the, the juice away because of the, the sugar, yeah. The sugar in there, and, and it's labelled um, 
uh, so those fruit and juice would be a better choice than fruit and syrup because syrup yes. means it's just um, sugar. You've added sugar into the water and yes. put that in the can. So yeah, um, yeah. So that vitamin C we need to help those soldiers you were telling me about to help keep us well from the um, the green veggies and the fruits. But there's another um, minerali, I heard you use that word, Muffy, um, another couple of minerales which are good as well, aren't they, for, for, for keeping us well through, our, through the foods we eat. Yes, and um, talking about minerali, I think it's because a lot of our Pacific um, languages, um, Balangisu, don't have those words. So we're not, they're not part of our language historically. Yes. So I know that for um, when I speak Tongan, I would say uh, Tonganize it and call um, <laughs> mineral is minilolo or minilale. Ah, uh, I'm not yes. sure, Brian, what you call that in Samoan. <laughs> um, no, but I do know what pounds is. We've got the paunga, you know, so the, uh, like with yourself, Muffy, you know, the uh, the Samoanizing or de- depending which language you're speaking, we can change any word into, you know, uh, an, an island language, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, but we do have a um, word for uh, all our uh, meat, our fish and seafood. We call it in Tongan kiki, and, and that's a group that um, at this time um, there's goodness in there. And it's um, the mineral or minilolo called zinc. Um, that too, we don't have a, a, a island word for it, but zinc or zingi uh, balangisu uh, is great. Um, goodness to um, get our immunity, um, you know, our body um, fit and well. Uh, so, Muffy, and that you're saying that can be found in our um, meat and in, in our chicken, um, and of course, it's it's better if we can take the the fat off the meat um, and the skin off the chicken, just just so we, you know, um, we can look after our hearts um, with without having those bad fats. Um, and I think it also comes from um, milk and things made from milk. You can you can find zinc in there. So that's like our milk, obviously. Our light blue milk and our light green um, are the best choices. They're lower in those bad fats. And um, also the cheese, like the Edam cheese and the yogurt, um, I think they have zinc in them as well. And also those wonderful whole grains that we talked to, we've talked about over the uh, the weeks and months, um, like our uh, brown rice, our porridge, um, our and our wheat mix, and our nuts and seeds. They also have zinc in them, don't they? So yeah, yeah. And still talking about those types of foods that we've got um, that you mentioned, there's also the other um, mineral or minerali iron. And I think that's a bit, a, a bit more well known amongst um, our Pacific communities. Ayone, yes. um, that we tonganize that Ayone, uh, that uh, that's actually also a good um, mineral to get from those types of food. And um, and and Ayone is good for making our blood as well, isn't it? Is it, it helps to make our blood? And also, it it helps our immunity or to fight those bad bugs. So, um, very, very important. And, um, Muffy, I was thinking, you know, we're talking about all these foods that have vitamin C in them or zinc or Ioni. And really, it's just if we eat foods from those four food groups, you know, that we've talked about over the, the, the previous months, isn't it? It's just yeah. eating a balanced um, meals with those four food groups in there. Yeah, definitely, um, because we won't remember um, these uh, new goodness um, of vitamin C, of zinc and iron, and there's no. plenty of other goodness you get um, from what we eat. But people tend to remember, I tend to remember more about the actual foods and the yes. actual um, minerals and vitamins in them. So the four food groups 
um, the breads and cereals, um, our vegetables and fruit, all our meat, um, with also lentils and beans in that group, and um, anything, uh, milk and milk products. Uh, so having a variety of different types of foods and colours of the rainbow, as mm. you probably would hear from our children. Um, Mum, have you, you know, foods that are colourful. And Pacific yes. people, um, so, um, are very visual and um, love colours. So yes. why not we apply those to the foods we eat? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they're yummy too. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was thinking about those four food groups and just, you know, we're at home and, and the food's all around us. It's in the fridge, it's in the cupboard, it's on the bench. Um, and so just to remember, you know, we've got our hands there to help us, you know, with our portions, you know, with the family as well, haven't we, for those four food groups? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, uh, those will give us a guide um, as well. Um and we do encourage um, people who are listening into the program, Balangi Su, that um, it, though we are having a telenor with each other on air, I um, yes. would love to hear if anyone's got any questions um, or any suggestions, or maybe there are other tips that you've got at home. Um, Balangi yes. you've shared about having the paper towel to keep our vegetables as fresh as they are in the fridge. Um yes. But there may be other people who've got other tips or they've got mm. other um, questions. Um, we are coming on the program um, live every other week, so perhaps mm -hmm. we can answer those questions um, through or even if they want to call through mm. um, and we can answer those for them. Yes, that would be amazing. And, uh, well, ladies, uh, just before we finish for our uh, Talanoa this morning, just uh, your, your big, big tip for the morning, please, uh, uh, Sue, as well as Muffy, what would be the biggest takeaway from today for you, for our listeners and online viewers, please? Um, well, from Palangi Sue, I would, you know, just encourage everybody to, yeah, to eat from the four food groups that we've been talking about. So then then they know that their families are getting that, that vitamin C and the ione and the zinc and all the other um, goodness from the food to help keep us all well, you know, at this time. Yeah. So that's Palangi Su's tip. And for you, Muffy? Uh, just adding on to it, um, if you've not remembered anything from our sharing this morning when you're actually having your um, food at home, just check that. Uh, does it have, does it look colourful to you? And if it doesn't, then add a bit more colour. Our vegetables have got different colours and add those yes. on. And um, enjoy and um, stay home and save lives um, and stay safe, everybody. Stay safe. Yeah. Very good with that. It's a very big thank you. Sue Perrett, uh, Pacific Heartbeat Nutritionist, Mafi Funaki, Tahifote, Manager of Pacific Health, the Heartbeat Team from the Heart, Found, Heart Foundation. Ladies, always a, a privilege uh, to speak with you and look forward to uh, your company again. Uh, well, in the very near future. Thank you. Stay safe and all the best to you and your families. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. It is uh, 10.30 now and time for our news in Tongan. 5.31 PI Pacific people together. Hello, Maria. 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 Hello,